Island, a topic that affects lots of dog owners. What do you do if you've got a pooch that just doesn't want to behave? Joining me tonight, Michael Shire, head of Michael's Pack. It's an organization that specializes in dog training. And I thank you so much, Michael, for coming in. Well, thank you. And bringing his special guest. This is Mia. Can you tell us about Mia? Absolutely. Mia is an 11-month-old border oh, collie. Oh, boy. Border collie terrier mix. She's a rescue from yeah, Mississippi. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's a sweetheart. We've been working with Mia for a while now, and she's really learned her stuff. Yeah, let's talk about dogs who need training. Border right. Collie, that's a dog that wants to be active 24 hours a day. Absolutely. And for most puppies in general, yeah. what you will find is the biggest challenge you're going to have as an owner of a puppy is just what you mentioned, yeah. which is puppy energy. All right, so you talk about management and redirection. Can Correct. you tell us about that? Sure. The easy one to understand is redirection. Okay. Redirection is when your dog, your puppy is doing the typical puppy stuff, which is the nipping and the jumping mm. and the barking. And I love that because <laughs> I think that's fun. And But maybe the guests who come to my house don't want the dog jumping all Probably over Probably not. Right. <laughs> so what we want to do is redirect to a positive from the negative. So okay. if so my dog... So what would you do with Mia, for instance? So if Mia was jumping. Yeah. Okay, on me. What I will do is because dog training is 95% of your voice, the, not the words, but the intonation. It would be, uh-uh, cut it out. Wow. And then what we do is redirect to a positive, which would okay. be, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, up, 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 up. Sit there. So help there. her, help her. Come on, girl, come on, little you girl, can do it. Can you can do it. Can you sit for go. me? She's a little too oh, nervous. Oh, yeah. But a sit or that. a down is the redirection. Okay. Okay, so you're going to redirect from a negative to the positive. With treats, yes. With treats. With treats, okay. Or let's say you have a squeaky toy and your dog is chewing on you yeah. or your bed pants or your long hair or anything, That's which is right. what typically happens, you'll redirect to something more positive. And be consistent. Key be to consistent. dog training is All consistency. Right. You say the first six to nine months are the most difficult? Absolutely. Why? Most important. Yeah, why? Because that you're working on a clean slate. Okay. So therefore, <laughs> therefore, what you want to do is Girl, obviously good. put in the time and the effort in the first six to nine months to show your dog what we can accept as far as manners. Okay. Every dog ever born is going to jump and nip and do all these things as a puppy. It's up to us to show them what we want. We do it in a very kind, assertive manner. Right. I only train with positive reinforcement training techniques. Right. The rest of it doesn't work. <laughs> the old school. Uh, yeah, the old school uh, rubbing their nose yeah. in or no, 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 no. with a paper no, 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 or something no, no. like that. Okay. No, 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 no. All right. Now, in this case, also, because you've got to breed, know your breed, number one. Absolutely. Especially you've got a breed uh, that really needs to be active, like a border collie. What do you do with all the excess energy? Well, I'll tell you what you don't do, which is what most people tell me as far as my clients. Don't worry about it. I have a backyard. <laughs> That's not the answer. No, huh? Because dogs... <laughs> I would think it is. <laughs> it's not, because dogs are notorious couch potatoes. Oh. So they're like us. So you might let them out in the backyard on a nice spring day. Right. They'll do a few laps, and when they burn off that top level, they'll find a nice tree that's shady and lie underneath it. Long walks with Mia, what's great is she loves to play fetch. Um, frisbee playing. If you have a bigger dog and you can actually train them to run next to you on a bicycle when they're young, Terrific. Wow. You have to burn off the energy because if you don't, it's going to come out in all the ways. On your furniture. On all your furniture <laughs> and then some. <laughs> all right, so but they need a job. They need something to do, and it's up to us to give them something 100% to do. 100% correct. All right, Michael, it was so great to talk to you. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having Mia, me. Mia, you are come wonderful. Here, Once again, Michael is with Michael's Pack. If you want some more information, you can call 516-DOG-PACK. That's 364-7225, or visit michaels-pack.com. And if you didn't have a pen, and handy to copy all that down. We've got the information on our news12.com website. Come over here. Come Mia. here, Mia. Come on. Say hi to my shot. We'll be right back. <laughs> Stay with us. You're pretty girl. You're good. Yeah. There you go. Now you